Excellencies, uh, distinguished senior officials and delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, let me express our sincere condolences to the government and the people of Indonesia in respect of the Lion Air JT610 airplane crash and the deadly earthquake and tsunami in the central Sulawesi Island. As well, we would like to um, make sure that all other um, members here who experienced tragic national disasters recently are equally recognized. Um, the rain that we had yesterday indicated to us uh, the, uh, the situation that most people, especially islands, who are around the Indian Ocean can experience, and therefore it brought to, to, uh, to us the, the reality of what we live with. We live in the most beautiful part of the world, but it also has its tragedies. And all those uh, who have uh, suffered tragedies out of uh, uh, climate change and the proximity to the sea are sincerest uh, uh, regret. My fellow sisters and brothers, please be assured that the Council's thoughts and prayers are all with all of you who have experienced any tragedies from this and your people during this difficult time. And we extend our sympathy to those families who have lost their loved ones. I would like to ask that we observe a moment's silence as a sign of respect for all of those. Thank you. In my culture, we would say, um, may God be with them. You can interpret that in your culture. It is a tremendous honor for me to welcome you all once again to this beautiful part of, uh, of Durban and uh, the majestic uh, Zulu Kingdom, of course, Zulu Natal, for the 18th meeting of the Ayora Council of Ministers. This is a very special year for us in South Africa, uh, not only because we are hosting you, which is a very important uh, milestone for us, but also because uh, our member, uh, most of our member states have managed to come and we have a full room. We're extremely grateful for that. But also for us it is um, a, uh, a very important year as we celebrate the, former, uh, the centenary of the former president Nelson Mandela. We remember Nelson Mandela for his founding thoughts that brought all of us together. I'd like to also acknowledge that uh, he is um, sharing this um, anniversary with uh, a very important other contributor to uh, our collective here. This is the year we celebrate the centenary of the birth of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahan, Nahan, founder of the United Arab Emirates, who is remembered for his deep religious faith, vision, determination, hard work, generosity at home and abroad, and the way in which he devoted his life to the service of his people and the creation of a better world. Therefore, my dear Vice, Chance, uh, Vice um, Chair, uh, we would like to uh, spend, uh, send a special message to the people of the United Arab Emirates to say that uh, we are with them as they celebrate the anniversary of uh, his, his uh, his, his Royal Highness. We look forward to working very closely with you as the people of South Africa as you will be taking over Ayora and we are firmly um, convinced that uh, Ayora in your hands as the UAE will be in very good hands. We also celebrate uh, another anniversary um, that, that, uh, that ties our people with the people of India. We remember the role of Mahatma Gandhi and we celebrate his 124th uh, anniversary of his arrival here in, in, in Durban. Uh, he came to South Africa in 1893 and stayed here uh, until 1914. Uh, for some reason, the people of India wanted to appropriate him after we had thoroughly educated him and he had contributed. <laughs> And he agreed, and he went over to India. But his, his, uh, his vision uh, uh, and, and his uh, commitment to freedom is a has left a lasting impression to the people of South Africa and the people of Durban and India, and we share this in common, and we'd like to take this opportunity to you, uh, Minister, to convey to the people of India that he actually is ours. 
we just loaned him to you in the end. And thank you for looking after him so well uh, until his demise. We celebrate his coming to South Africa and bringing light and vision to our struggles. Ambassador Dr. Numvuyo Nokwe, uh, we've taken note of the very good work that you have done, that you and the Secretariat have uh, put together for us. We also take note of the hard work that was done by the officials, and we look forward to working closely with you and your team uh, to further the work, the excellent work that you've put uh, together uh, uh, for us. This year, uh, our work takes place at a critical time for global politics, uh, and international relations. Uh, the geostrategic importance and profile of the Indian Ocean uh, region and is growing very rapidly, as you can see from the representatives that are here today, with an unprecedented focus and attention on the potential contribution that the region can and should be making towards global security, economic growth, and sustainable development. At a time when the coherence and stability of the global multilateral system is being tested very severely, IORA provides us with a unique opportunity to enhance the spirit of multilateralism within one, within one of the most diverse regions of the world, comprising a heterogeneous mix of developed countries, developing countries, small island states, and less developed countries. IORA can become a beacon of hope for multilateralism and regional cooperation in the world. As a collective, we are taking this opportunity to build and expand our understanding and mutually beneficial cooperation through IORA's consensus-based evolutionary and non-intrusive approach. As a group, we must use this approach to promote cohesiveness, unity within the region, while resisting the emerging and very real threat of geopolitical rivalry taking root in the Indian Ocean um, around us. As member states of the Indian Ocean Rim Association, it is our space to protect and develop for the mutual benefit of all our peoples. We cannot do this alone. Our vision for the region is encapsulated in our theme for, this chair, for, the, for our chairpersonship of IORA, uh, uniting the peoples of Africa, the peoples of Asia, the people of Australasia, and the Middle East, through enhanced cooperation for peace, stability, sustainable development. This theme we adopted and it encompasses South Africa's view that the Indian Ocean region should be characterized as a region of peace, stability, development, and economic prosperity for all. We consider IORA as a preeminent regional organization within which to pursue this ambitious goal. Over the past year of our chairpersonship, We've been working tirelessly to strengthen the institution, including the Secretariat, for whose work I'm extremely grateful. And we are delighted to have hosted a technical workshop in Mauritius in March that was aimed at improving the capacity and efficiency of the Secretariat in supporting the IORA member states' activities going forward. We would like to see such an engagement regular, regularized uh, on the calendar of IORA events. The seamlessness with which this meeting will take place would indicate that we've had prior discussions uh, thanks to the Secretariat. As an association, we must be dynamic. We must make sure that our structures and procedures can adapt to the shifts in global trends and our own priorities. The association's institutional structure through the Charter is thus also being reformed to ensure that it is able to accommodate and respond to new priorities and the goals that we've identified in the Jakarta Accord and its action plan, which we adopted 2017 to 2021, to take the association into its third decade and beyond. A revised charter will give us this necessary flexibility and longevity. To this end, we are establishing a new dedicated functional uh, body, I, I believe there is more than one, to deal specifically with IORA's priorities in areas such as maritime security, and I'm glad that we have a rear admiral here who might assist us in that, um, in blue economy. Um, Kenya would like to have, be given the opportunity to have something to say about that. Women's economic empowerment, and there are enough of us here to overtake uh, the leadership of this, uh, of this organization. Uh, and, uh, in, in tourism as well, 
At the same time, we are also looking uh, forward to revitalizing existing institutional uh, mechanisms to enhance trade investment facilitation with a focus on the promotion of small and medium enterprises, while also strengthening and increasing the role of the academia in IORA, as envisaged at the founding of this association. As we have seen in Indonesia and around the world recently, the importance of, of improving resilience and the responses to disaster and risk management in the region cannot be overemphasized. <coughs> this is an area of priority focus that we will all need to take forward with haste, including the implementation of the IORA Memorandum of Understanding on Search and Rescue. Sustainable and responsible fisheries management and development, including dealing with the important issue of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, are also priority issues that will receive attention during the remaining time of South Africa's chairpersonship. Further, we are focused on consolidating IORA's membership and look forward to considering the application of countries wishing to join the association as full members, along with an increasing interest amongst countries outside of the region to join IORA as dialogue partners. And I believe we already have our dialogue partners, some of our dialogue partners today. You're very welcome. This is a, sta this is a testament to the growing importance and relevance of this organization globally and we're developing mechanisms and criteria to deepen and broaden our engagement with and support from the dialogue partners. Likewise, IORA continues to also develop and expand its relationships with international bodies and agencies, and we welcome a number of memoranda of understanding between IORA and international institutions, as well as amongst IORA member states, for cooperation on areas such as search and rescue and in promoting small and medium uh, enterprises. I believe, SG, we will be signing some of these memoranda yes. today. Yes, yes. yes. In conclusion, IORA is an, organization, is an organization on the ascendancy and one that cannot and should not be ignored.